Hello guys, myself Neha Gupta, your mentor for current affairs. So this is a new day. Let's begin this day with some meaningful activity. But before that, I would like to enlighten you with a quote that I came across very recently. And that quote is, health is not valued until sickness comes. So in this coronavirus pandemic, we are all valuing our health. But still, I feel that many people are there who do not value health or who do not uh, take, who are not taking the seriousness of coronavirus that much we are not understanding the seriousness of coronavirus and i hope that you guys are not among them you are following the coronavirus uh, uh, rules and uh, enlightening your family and friends about following these lockdown restrictions so guys do follow the restrictions stay safe at your home okay on that note let's begin today's video and if you are a newcomer on this channel then you know how what you should do you have to subscribe to our channel and hit this bell notification because we upload a lot of interesting videos on our channel so if you don't want to miss out on those videos then do subscribe and hit this bell notification also guys you can join this telegram group where we provide you with free quizzes as well as you can directly connect with us on this telegram group and the link of it is in description below okay so this is the 2022 course i will be taking you through this course very briefly for the people who are coming for the first time Okay, so this course has PDFs, videos and mock tests. Videos, uh, videos can be saved offline in your mobile application. PDFs are downloadable and mocks are available for each and every subject. Especially the mocks with 50% descriptive paper that you have in your ESI and FM. So, this is the plus point in our course that you will be getting mock interviews assistance as well. So, we conduct mock interviews uh, where you can assess yourself. The next point here is that you will get a booklet once you enroll in this course and this booklet comprises of phase 1 question bank, phase 2 question bank, uh, phase 2 revision booklet, phase 1 and 2 past year papers starting from 2010 onwards, notebook and the pen. Apart from this, the bonus here is that we are running a 30% discount on this course. So if you want to avail this discount then you can uh, use the coupon code RBI30 and in case you have any queries then you can call us on the number right in front of you. Okay, so that was the introduction guys. Still, if you have any kind of doubts, you can call us on this number. Let's begin today's current affairs with this first question. And the question is, which state has launched CLAP to promote cleanliness in the state? So you have Andhra Pradesh, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu, Telangana and Punjab in the options. Out of these five options, the right answer is option A, Andhra Pradesh. And you can easily memorize this thing by, uh, by memorizing the full form of CLAP. The full form of CLAP is Clean Andhra Pradesh. So this is so easy for us to remember it now that CLAP has been launched in Andhra Pradesh. Now it has been launched to bring about the behavioral change like we do in the Swachh Bharat Abhyan. Behavioral change about the cleanliness. So basically it is very much on the lines of Swachh Bharat Abhyan. But it is the indigenous version of Andhra Pradesh. The state version of Andhra Pradesh. So that was all about the scheme. I hope that you can remember the scheme better that which state has launched it and what is the purpose of CLAP. That is to clean the state, bring about the behavioral change to uh, clean the state, to keep the state clean. So that was our first question. It was quite easy, I know. Now we are moving on to the second question. Which company has partnered with Indian government to launch a vaccine founder, finder tool on its mobile app in India? Paytm, Amazon, Facebook, Twitter and Google are the options. Out of these five options, we have Facebook as our right answer. So, this vaccine finder tool will help the people to find the nearest location to get themselves vaccinated. Vaccine finder. So, it is very easy to understand. Vaccine uh, location will be located through this tool which will be available on Facebook application. Now, apart from this, the most important point here that you should remember about this tool is that it has been launched in 17 languages. So, this was another part that is important regarding this vaccine finder tool. Apart from this, Facebook has also announced an assistance of US dollar 10 million for India so that India can fight this coronavirus pandemic better. So, that was all about this news. Now, we are moving on to the third question. Okay, so what is the GDP forecast for India for FY22 by S and P? So you have the five percentages right in front of you. Out of these five percentages, the right answer is option D, 9.8 percent. Earlier in the month of March, S and P has forecasted a percentage around 11 percent. So earlier 
the GDP forecast for India was around 11%, but now it has been downgraded to 9.8%. And we all know why has it been downgraded. And even for that matter, let me tell you that many agencies are, being, are downgrading India's GDP forecast for the upcoming years, most probably because of the lockdown that we have in place due to the second wave of coronavirus. Now, apart from this, this most important percentage, the next thing of importance for us here is the sovereign rating that SNP has given to India. So, what is that rating? The rating is triple B minus. And uh, SNP has maintained a stable outlook for India. So, these sovereign ratings are important when a country goes for the inter goes for loan in front of the international forums like World Bank and International Monetary Fund. Because these funds, these organizations took into consider consideration these sovereign ratings of each and every individual country before giving them loans. So such kind of kinds of ratings help us there. Now you should remember that SNP has given this rating as well as it has maintained a stable outlook for it as for now. Okay, so the next question is but what is LIC rank in brand finance insurance 100 2021 report in terms of value? So let us discuss the ranking first and then we will be discussing the details of this report. So you have five rankings right in front of you. Out of these rankings, India's rank is, or basically LIC that is representing India on this list is 10th. Option A is the right answer. <clears throat> now this list, Brand Finance Insurance 100 2021 list is released by Brand Finance. And Brand Finance is basically a brand valuation consulting firm based in London. So this is something, a very background fact that you should know about this rank, this report or this ranking that has been released. Apart from this, the fact related to this report that is of importance to us is that this report is divided into two parts or we can say this report has given ranking into two parts. And what are these two parts? The first part is the ranking on the basis of valuation of countries, companies. Sorry. So the value of the companies as well as their rankings have been decided in this first ranking. And the second ranking is about the top 10 strongest insurance brands in the world. So let's see where does our LIC stand for stand in both these lists. So in the first list, that is the top 10 valuable insurance brands in the world list. LIC stands at the 10th position with the value of $8,655 million. And uh, in terms of strength ranking, that is uh, the strongest insurance brand in the world, LIC stands at the third rank. So this is again amazing for LIC because this is a very good ranking that it has managed to achieve. And which company or which brand is at the first ranking in both of these um, rankings? In the first ranking, it is Ping An Insurance, which is a China-based firm. And in the strongest brand, rank, brand ranking, it is Coast Italian which is an Italy-based form. So you have to remember LIC's ranking and uh, in order to keep yourself on a safer side, you can memorize the top ranker as well for both these rankings. So here this ranking ends. I hope that you have understood it well and what is the part that you have to remember from this, from this entire news is something that you should understand well. Who is the director of Jungle Cry? So this movie has recently got the uh, Dada Sahib Falke Award. It has received the Dada Sahib Falke Award, 11th edition of Dada Sahib Falke Award in the category of Best Film Jury. So remember the category as well. Now, that is why because of that it has been in the news. You have to tell that who is the director of this movie. So you have five options. Kamal Hassan, Dibakar Banerjee, Mani Ratnam, Sagar Balari, Anurag Kashyap. So all these gigantic directors are there in front of you. Can you guys tell me that who is the director of this movie so if you know the answer then you can mention it in the comment section below as well now let me tell you uh, the right answer here is option b sagar balad so he is the director of jungle cry and remember that 11th edition of dada sahib falke award in the best film jury category has been given to this jungle cry movie and that is why it was in the news moving further we have the next question from our author section the bench is the first children's book of which of the following? So you have the five options, five different writers are here. Out of these, the first time, the person who has written this children's book for the first time is option E, Megan Merkel. Now guys, 
she was quite in the news she was making quite uh, a lot of headlines last year and beyond last year also uh, because of her divorce with her husband so that was a personal matter we do not need to go into that but the point here is that Meghan Markle is the Duchess of Sussex so this is her place so she is the Duchess of Sussex and she is the author of this bench which is her first children's book so these are some of the facts related to this entire news that you have to memorize for your upcoming examination the next question is who is the writer of Bengal 2021 an election diary so this is a very interesting book and a contemporary as well because yesterday only Mamta Banerjee took oath as the third uh, not third as the chief minister of uh, West Bengal for a third consecutive time so it is for the third time that she became the chief minister of West Bengal now who is the writer of this Bengal 2021 book the right answer is option B Deepa Deep Heather so he has written this Bengal 2021 an election diary book so this book is also very important because recently we have seen the elections in West Bengal and probably in the upcoming examination whenever the exam takes place this book can become a probable question for you in your examination so do not forget that it has been written by deep heather so here this video ends i hope that you have liked it and if you have liked it then do not forget to subscribe the channel hit the like button on this video share it among your friends and hit the bell notification as well thank you so much for watching the video